What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It's the Earth Master here on this Saturday night. Saturday, all right. Uh, November 26, 2022. It's about 8.10 p.m. California time here. Latest quake shows a 2.5 into the area of northern California. It kind of looks like it's somewhat deep as well, about 19 kilometers. Let's go ahead and check out the specifics up here. Into the California area. Looks like this is a southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone earthquake uh, just off the mega thrust area down there at about 19 kilometers deep again the extreme southern end of the Cascadia mega thrust area no further activity up north as noted this activity just coming in within the last hour there just offshore of northern California also in southern Oregon did see a uh, earthquake earlier this afternoon outside of Klamath Falls um, looks like just to the west here of Klamath Falls, about seven kilometers below the surface for that earthquake. Uh, let's see what else we got. A little spotty throughout California, but uh, definitely got some earthquake activity kicking up here. Uh, let me bring up the 2.5 map and above. There's definitely not a whole lot. <laughs> Most of the movement here, all microquakes around the... Uh, San Andreas Fault here, kind of like the interchange between the uh, Hayward Fault, the Calaveras Fault Zone, and the Plate Boundary. Uh, also got an earthquake coming in here near Colville. Looks like a 1.2 up in the Sierra Nevada Mountains. And some further activity down south here across the Ridgecrest Shear Zone, or the uh, Garlock Fault Shear Zone here. 2.4 on the eastern section. Also some movement here towards the west. Had a 1.9 earlier this afternoon time frame some spotty movement throughout the southern portion of the state as well uh let's see no further activity noted here on the southern portion of the san andreas fault or the brawley seismic zone for now uh, across the rest of the country here pretty spotty not a whole lot whatsoever being reported uh, some movement around puerto rico today and a little line of activity stretching across the Mona Sea Mountain here towards the Dominican Republic. A couple twos, but also a 4.1 there in the mix just outside of the uh, Sea Mountain area. Pretty deep trench in this zone. South America, a little bit of activity kicking up here. Um, got about four earthquakes up and down the Peru Chile Trench. Most of it uh, fours, and I'm sure there's some smaller earthquakes as well. Uh, most recent quake within the vicinity is going to be this earthquake out here near Easter Island. A 5.6 coming in just a short time ago on the flat, uh, I was going to say the uh, fracture zone, the fracture zone out here. A little bit of a uh, little odd feature uh, between the, what's this fracture zone called? Uh, well, I guess the Easter fracture zone. Looks like the plate boundary here. Kind of an odd looking deal uh, between the Pacific Plate and the Nazca Plate here. But um, kind of odd. Don't see too much activity out there. Either way, things kind of kicking up into the uh, southern Pacific Ocean. Tonga area. Um, did see a little bit of activity earlier this afternoon as well. And a 5.0 into the Vanuatu area north of Port Villa. A little bit of a return of movement there, but I think the big picture today has definitely been here across the Western Pacific and um, down into the Indonesia area. Seen a quite a bit of uh, earthquake activity here over the last 24 hours in this region. No major movement yet, but just quite a few fours, quite a few fives scattered out on a broad scale over this area. Uh, most recent activity here uh, shows a pretty good cluster of fours and fives into the Indonesia area and also just around the Philippines. Uh, seen uh, quite a bit of activity as well. Up here north into the Kurokam Chaka Trench, a lot of this activity here uh, starting to look like maybe we're going to see a, you know, a much larger quake. Sometimes it starts out like that, but uh, so far it's come, uh, it's come without a uh, big event happening. We did have some fours and fives here in this area over the last 24 hours. Also down into the Mariana Trench. Uh, seen uh, quite a bit of movement as well. Fours and fives in that area. Some deep, some shallow. But uh, I think we all can agree that's kind of where the uh, activity is heading right now. Along the western 
Pacific and adjacent areas here around Indonesia. Let's see what's going on with Hawaii. Not a whole lot. Uh, Mono Loa looking pretty quiet up here at the summit. Most of the activity confined to the Pahala area. Quite a few twos and some smaller quakes today. Nothing within the last hour. Up north into the Alaska area. Got some movement uh, once again around Anchorage up to Denali. Latest quake near Trapper Creek. 2.2 at 56 kilometers deep. Uh, no further large-scale activity to note here across the region. Still watching that zone potentially. Uh, Indonesia area. Looks like that uh, one of the latest quakes here. Uh, so it kind of looks like uh, with all this activity here over the last 24 hours, it may be trying to make a break here and a push up around this region. Uh, that would include areas around the Java Trench and up around the Himalayas. So might see things start kicking up if there is enough pressure built up here in these regions. Uh, across the Mediterranean Sea, a 4.4 just outside of Crete. That one coming in earlier this afternoon time frame. The Atlantic Ocean all looks pretty quiet for now. Uh, let me check out the EMSC model here. Uh, looks like we've got a 0 0.9 just coming into the California area currently. Southern Cal, that is. Looks like some threes kicking off there into Baja, California as well. Movement on the Middle America Trench. A couple fours kicking up here just off the coast of the Nicaragua area. Uh, let me see here. Nothing. Absolutely nothing showing up here across the USGS map. So definitely seeing an uptick though here in this area. Uh, some of the activity also looks pretty deep into the Middle America Trench. Uh, let's see what else we got here. South America region. Uh, seen some newer and some older movement. seeing what we got here i'm seeing a couple different double earthquakes here on this map um i may have to make an adjustment on here sometimes it puts the usgs and the emsc on here but i mean it's supposed to be but uh not supposed to be seeing those double quakes like that as far as duplicates uh let's see what else we got um yeah there's that push of activity across the java trench fours Looks like quite a few twos as well. New Zealand area not seeing a whole lot of activity currently. All this looks to be some older movement uh, across the area. So just kind of uh, keep an eye on things currently. See how all this plays out. Mediterranean area actually looks like there's looks like there's some uh, more recent quakes here on the map. A couple fours up north. Uh, let's see exactly where that's at. Not showing up. Oh, there we go. Looks like it's just showing up here right now. A 4.1 into western Turkey. Uh, again, just coming in. Well, this is a few minutes late. <laughs> uh, this one kicked off here about 25 minutes or so, but USGS just now issuing that. Uh, they're in western Turkey, 4.1. The Atlantic, uh, again, pretty clear for the most part right now. Uh, let's check out Yellowstone, see what we have for uh, activity or lack of activity. And it doesn't look like there's a lot of earthquake activity currently happening there. So a couple small little specks in here and there. But overall... Pretty quiet day, it looks like, there at Yellowstone. No magma movement, no uh, major earthquake swarms currently ongoing there. The PNSN trimmer department here shows six epicenters. Not that big of a deal whatsoever today. And it is off the coast of the, uh, well, actually right over the Vancouver Island ranges, but kind of within that area where we've seen that 4.9 coming in. Uh, yesterday there in that area. See what we got for uh, volcanic seismicity here. We're going to check out the Mount St. Helens area real quick and see what we have. As we check out the September Lobe Mount St. Helens station. 
And man, that's all blown out, uh, over amplified. But uh, there we go. It's supposed to look a little bit more like this. Not not a whole lot uh, going on here. This is just some standard activity that kind of kicks up here, I believe. Uh, actually, I think that is the. Um, is that that 4.9 from yeah, yesterday? Possibly. Uh, that 4. Point, no, I don't. I don't know. Either way, um, not a localized earthquake. Localized activity here going to be very minimal uh, and spiky. There's definitely not a whole lot of quakes there at Mount uh, Mount St. Helens area. Pretty quiet up there for now. Uh, speaking of quiet, man, these things are dropping like a rock. Only a 25% chance of a sea flare. Things are very minimal in the solar flare department. Uh, looks like they kind of, well, they do here. They kind of switch this up a little bit, which is okay. Um, still gives us the numbers here. Let me check out the most, oh, this one, this one looks a little old here. This says the latest, looks like they may be having some issues here with these, uh, with this, that, with that image right here. So they decided to go with the black and white image of the, uh, magnetic structure. This one looks a little bit more current, I believe, because, uh, yeah, it's kind of a weird deal. Kind of hard to tell the uh, exact... Well, it's definitely not looking likely that we're going to see any flaring down here uh, from any of these sunspots. But what we are looking at, potentially, keeping my eyes on this one here, is this coronal hole. Not a super huge one, but it is definitely in position uh, that will be spewing out some high-speed charged particles in the Earth direction. And it's uh, sitting around center disk here of the sun, so we should be uh, seeing that... Oh, I don't know, in a few days right now, current conditions are just uh, bouncing around a little bit. Uh, looks like around three on the KP index scale. Unsettled conditions tonight and uh, over the next couple nights, it looks like, until we uh, get some uh, some further backing of the solar wind. And uh, that should amplify things up a little bit. We'll definitely keep an eye on that. Uh, let's see what else we got. I think that's about it, folks. Um, Earthquakes Canada. It is weekend, and uh, I don't think they really report that too often. Uh, there's that 4.8, 4.9 from the USGS that uh, hit off there, off the Vancouver Island range there. Nothing else being reported across the region as far as local activity goes. Uh, you guys hear about that big severe weather threat? coming to the uh, portions of the Louisiana area, Arkansas, coming up on, uh, I believe that's on Tuesday, right? Let me check here and see when that big event's supposed to kick up. It's going to be this one right here. Yeah, it looks like late Tuesday in the Wednesday. Um, potential for some severe weather down here. That's uh, in an area that, got, that has a lot of trees, and unfortunately, I don't like... Uh, I don't like chasing out there in the ch in the trees like that. Very dangerous when it comes to, uh, you know, line of sight. <clears throat> but uh, we do have some good news here for the West Coast. I uh, kind of want to jump into this here real quick. We'll go to the Western states. And uh, it's kind of what I've been hoping for is kind of the weather pattern to change here. The first storm coming in uh, on Monday is just going to bring some colder air straight down out of the north. That's not really a precipitation maker. But behind that, we got some further um, high rate precipitation here with this low pressure. Uh, that's going to give Northern California a pretty good soaking uh, with rainfall here in the valley and uh, lots of snow up in the mountains. Look at those rainfall rates. They're pretty impressive for now. Uh, about three days ago, they showed nothing, uh, that we weren't going to get anything, no rain whatsoever. So I'm kind of glad things are coming together. I'm liking these rainfall rates right here. It's going to be... Uh, uh, some areas of the valley could be getting up to around two inches of rain, uh, which is good. It's not a huge amount, but it's definitely a uh, uh, it help out. That's for sure. And um, that's going to be on uh, starts kind of like on Wednesday night, Thursday. The brunt of the precip is going to be on Thursday, uh, and then that kind of brings a bunch of snow and rain to Southern California, 
And then almost immediately following that, there's another, another low pressure system uh, that's going to bring some further rain and snow uh, back behind that. So I'm happy. <laughs> I'm a happy camper. Rain makes me happy. And uh, looks like we got a little bit in the forecast here for the California area. I'm liking that. What do we got coming in here to that seismograph? Stand by for just a second. See which one that is. That is going to be, okay, Hot Caves, Hawaii. It just looks like a little earthquake there around the Pahala area. All right, folks. Um, hope everyone enjoys their night out there. And um, I'm going to see if I can't fix that uh, duplicate deal there with the uh, Earthquake 3D Globe. Show duplicates. Okay, that was checked. So now it's unchecked. Hopefully that will fix the issue um, because I don't like seeing double quakes on there. It's not good. All right, guys. Have a good night. We'll catch you guys a little bit later on tomorrow sometime. I'm going to hang out here with Missy Mimi's and, you know, just kind of keep it peaceful and quiet. Nothing like having a nice peaceful house, right? Some quiet conditions. Have a good night, guys. Stay safe.